Hello, Best for Box Enthusiasts. It's Joshua Shaw again. And today I'm going to be talking about the VexNet 2.0 keys. An issue that came up is that the two keys that we give you do not communicate once they're plugged into the microcontroller and the Vex joystick. Today I'm going to be showing you a software patch that you can download off the internet. So the other day I had Bernard send out a website that showed how to run the patch. In this video I'm going to be basically following the instructions and I'm also going to be showing you the final results. So here's the website. Um, you should be able to get this from your coaches. So just follow the instructions and then you will need to go to this website here. On here we are wanting to download the VexNet firmware upgrade utility and this should come down really quick. Click on here and then run the setup. You will need administrative access to do this. Just follow the principles of pushing the next button and install. And at that point it should be finished. So if it doesn't immediately come up, and I should point out that I have done this before, so mine is already up here. You can go to your computer, go to your C drive, and then to the program files, and scroll down until you see VexNet Firmware Upgrade. You'll then open this prompt, the VexNet Upgrade, and it should be the one with the icon that looks kind of like a dialog box. So click here and you should see this screen. Next you're going to plug in your VEX Cortex once you've done this the computer should recognize that the Cortex is connected now you'll click bootload say yes again and then download. This will take a minute. Um, luckily, this is doing an upgraded patch for the software. And now the software should be updated to run the new keys. You'll need to do this for both the Cortex and the joystick. So I'd like to thank Les Williams from Parkview Science and Arts Magnet High School. He was one of the teachers who had contacted me about the issue, and he was also one of the teachers who had solved the problem. So thank you, and don't forget to do your best. Alright guys, it's me again. Um, I was experimenting with a few things, like downloading a new program onto the Cortex but it didn't quite work so I'll show you what happened. So I go to build and download and I'll get the same screen that we got in my first video where I showed you how to update the master code. In this case I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of putting a new program on your Cortex and being able to use the keys. So let's go back to tools and upgrade the VexNet firmware. So we did this in the first video. What we're going to do is we're going to put the this master code onto the Cortex and it'll take a few minutes. And once we get that on the Cortex we should be able to put a new program up. Alright, so that's ready to go. Go to build and download. Yes and we have the modified program going onto the Cortex. Alright, so push OK. That's ready to go. So now let's go back to the original firmware I showed you how to do earlier in this video. And we're going to put this firmware on the Cortex. I did experiment around with this this does still have the program that we put on there. It just has a modified master code. This master code is not 
compatible with the current version of EZC. Um, I do not know why IntelliTech currently has it like that, but I believe in the next version of EZC they should have this modification so that the firmware is the same for both sets, hopefully. So now I'm going to test my Cortex, and I'll do that off camera. So you'll need, you'd actually be seeing, I should try to, try to do a video. Alright, and from testing, I can tell that the Cortex still works. It still has the same program that I put onto it, but the firmware is now updated with the new keys. Anytime you want to update your program, you will have to update the master code to the Easy C version and then go back and update it on the upgraded firmware version. So, I hope this helps. Um, if you guys do have issues, you can contact me. I will put my contact information in the description below. Thank you, and do your best.